It's 10 before 10. Fair Vote Illinois is an organization working to bring ranked choice voting to Illinois. Gary Schatz is a spokesman for the group. Uh, Gary, uh, reading about ranked choice voting and hearing about it and people talking about how it keeps campaigns positive, promotes debate of important issues. Sounds great. So what's the downsides, uh, downside and who would be against this? Well, uh, first, Bob, thanks for having me on. And, uh, yeah, the people you hear that are opposed to it are people that certainly just don't like change, which is a lot of people. There are folks that feel it's too complicated and too difficult, This, despite the fact that uh, New York City, which elected its mayor last year with ranked choice voting, uh, 95% of, of, of voters after the polls found the ballot to be simple to complete. Uh, 83% of them ranked more than one candidate, and 77% wanted to do it again. So the number one complaint is from politicians who benefit from the vote splitting that helps them get elected with less than 50 percent support. Those are the people that are mostly opposed. to it. So they don't uh, want to lose their seats. Alaska and Maine use it. Uh, some cities in California. And what is our situation in, in Illinois now? What, what's going to happen here? Well, right now we, we've had bills. Uh, down in Springfield for the last few legislative sessions. They're in committee. They have sponsors and support. Uh, and while we are continuing to push that for a statewide uh, referendum, we are also uh, trying to use a more local approach. So a few weeks ago in Evanston, the city council passed uh, a resolution approving ranked choice voting to decide their elections. And that resolution is now going to go to the voters. So Evanston residents on November 8th are going to have a chance to vote to approve ranked choice voting to be the way that they elect their officials in Evanston. And they will be the first city in Illinois to use it. Can you explain uh, so that even people like me can understand it, how, how it actually works? <laughs> it's nonpartisan, right? It is very much nonpartisan. It works best in primaries where there are three, four, five, uh, in the case of the last mayoral election, 13 candidates. Uh, and what you do is you rank your candidates in the order in which you would prefer to see them uh, in office. So instead of just saying, I want Lori Lightfoot, you rank uh, them all, or or you don't even have to rank them all, but you rank as many as you want in the order that you prefer. And then when the first votes are counted and no one has 50%, no one has a majority of support, the lowest vote getter, uh, they're dropped out of the race. And everyone who voted for them first, we look at who they preferred, who they voted for second who their second preferred candidate would be. And we move those votes to those candidates. And then we tally it up again. And we see if somebody still doesn't have a majority support, more than 50%, then we move to the next round and do the same thing until eventually uh, we do get a candidate with more than 50% support. And we can confidently say that that candidate actually is the preferred candidate of the majority of the people voting. In that mayoral election in 2019, in that first round with 13 candidates, Tony Preckwinkle had 16% and Lori Lightfoot had 17.5%. That means 80% of Chicagoans didn't want either of them to be their mayor. And yet those were the two in the runoff that decided who was being elected. That's kind of a broken system. Mm, sounds like it. So uh, Berwyn, Oak Park, uh, what areas are, are next for, for this question of uh, ranked choice voting? Well, yes certainly, or no? yeah, while we are, uh, while we are, Again, trying a statewide approach, but we're also going municipality to try to get more and more people on board locally that will sort of alert Springfield that this is not, uh, this is something people of Illinois want. Last, uh, during the primary in April, uh, Berwyn passed a non-binding resolution to have ranked choice voting with 82% support. Again, an overwhelming majority. Uh, and Oak Park has expressed interest. Uh, some of the folks in our group have been talking uh, to their civic leaders about trying to get a bill on their uh, ballot to get it supported there. Uh, and we are definitely looking at places downstate. We don't want to just sort of be in the six county area. We want this for everybody in Illinois. If you are a voter who is frustrated by uh, sort of the direction of your party moving to the sort of further away, the, the opposite ends, ranked choice voting gives an opportunity to bring candidates with broader support from your party to be in that general election. And if they have broader support, they have a better chance of actually getting some votes from across the aisle. We can stop being so partisan in these elections and in our politics.
Seems like an idea whose time has come, given the uh, state of politics today. Uh, how come we haven't heard of this before? I, I think the first time I heard about it was uh, Alaska. Yeah, I mean, it is definitely it's it's new to America, uh, but it's not new to the world. It's it's certainly been used for literally centuries in places like India and Australia and Scotland. Uh, it's not a new idea, but again, change is always very slow to come, and we tend to. We think about our elections that we think we're electing our candidates with majorities because we're electing people who get the most votes. Uh, the problem is the most votes isn't always the majority of votes, especially in a crowded field. You can win an election with 25 percent. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that means 75 percent of the people didn't want you. And in, in, in a partisan district, that could mean you have that job for a really long time, despite not having majority support. Democracies are supposed to be based on majority rule. That's all we're trying to do. What a concept that is. Uh, So if uh, people want to find out more about this, you have a website set up, and uh, does that kind of lay out the information in in hopefully a clear, understandable way? It absolutely does. And please, I encourage people to go to fairvoteillinois.org, all one word, spell it all out. Uh, And also, if you're just curious about ranked choice voting, You can just Google ranked choice voting. There's plenty of information out there. There is an organization like ours uh, in every state, uh, often more than one. Uh, There's, of course, the national fair vote. I mean, this is is a big thing. Andrew Yang's forward party, they're big supporters of it. It's one of the tenants, the pillars of their their group. It's new-ish, but it's not like it's brand new. It's been around. uh, And we would love to get people involved. The more people involved, uh, the better we, the faster we will make this change happen. Certainly, if you've lived in Illinois uh, for any period of time, I think we would understand that you may be a little frustrated with how politics work here. And this isn't going to be a cure-all, but it definitely can help start moving things in a better direction. Yeah, well, when I heard you say frustrated voter, I think everybody's ears perked up and the, uh, the, vo- yeah. the volume knob got turned up on the radio. <laughs> Fair Vote Illinois, Gary Schatz. Uh, thanks, Gary. I think I understand this uh, a lot more now. Appreciate it. Oh, Bob, thank you so much for the time. Talk to you soon. Thank you. It's uh, news time next at 10 from the Northwestern Medicine Newsroom.